Hi there. We're about to start solar sailing to Spikaroog from Norderney. So we've got the torpedo going there very gently. And we've got the mainsail up as well. The problem is we're going to be sailing mostly into wind here, so I'm going to keep the torpedo on probably most of the day just to help us sail a bit closer to the wind. I'm going to pull up the anchor now and we'll set off. Just going past the entrance to the harbour here and the ferry terminal. Both Oscar and Annabelle are up now and we're doing just over three knots, nearly four knots with the tide. Let's hope the winds are good. So it's around about 10.30 now. We're sailing along with about 200 watts of power only coming from the torpedo. And with that power we can keep going for days without any solar charging. We've left Norderney now, that's it in the distance, and we're going along the coast to the east, towards Spikaroog. We're going very close to the wind, this is with 11 knots of wind which we're going as close to as possible, and we're making three to three and a half knots, and the reason we can do that is because we've got the torpedo going very gently on this hull. In a catamaran of course and catamarans don't go very close to the wind so it's good that we can manage this with just a little bit of help from that torpedo. Still as you can see from our course we're unfortunately going to need to put another tack in but we'll do that in a couple of hours time. I thought I'd give you a little example of how quiet this is. Okay, just about here it's going away there. Nothing like as loud as the sound of the water, and certainly not as loud as the sound of this autopilot, and certainly not as loud as the sound of a petrol engine. Just going past the northerly boy here, coming up to 12 o'clock. We're on the tack outwards from northerly now. Okay, we've just done a big tack way out, almost to the shipping lanes. And now we're going to go about and see what course we can make towards our destination. It's about 1.30 now, coming up to 1.30. And the winds should pick up over the next hour or so and should turn around a bit as well so that we can make a course more directly to where we're going. At the moment though, completely out of sight of land because it's such a hazy day. Okay, this is about 20 minutes later. We've gone about now, and just before we did, the wind started to pick up a little bit and also change direction slightly. So we're now able to make a pretty good course towards our destination. We're going a little bit faster as well, two and a half knots, four knots. We're still sailing very close to the wind. But we can do that because we have the aid still of this torpedo that's just been running in the background for these last five hours or so. And as I said, it's not using up any electricity, so we can go for days like this with one Tesla battery. I haven't even started solar charging yet. It's nearly two o'clock now. The wind has continued to pick up. We're now at seven and a half knots. We're going at a steady bit over four knots, four and a half knots. The motor's still whirring away nicely in the background, gently helping us. And so we're going really close to the wind here, and yet we're managing to keep a really steady course and a good speed up. It's 3.30 now. The wind's moved round a tiny little bit further, picked up to a good eight knots, which means that we're going around about five, maybe even sometimes up to six knots. The seas are still fairly calm, we've got a nice swell coming in just behind us. And I could probably turn the motor off now and still keep going at a reasonable speed. I think I'll just leave it on, just give us a little bit of help. We should be there in the next couple of hours and high tide is in about one and a half hours so hopefully there'll be a tiny bit of tide taking us in and then we'll be able to find a place to anchor. 
So this is the first marker boy showing us the Speaker Rook channel. We've been making excellent time. We're going up between six and seven knots and we're heading slightly off being as close to the wind as possible. So we're still heading slightly into wind, but just not as close to the wind as we were before. And you can see our speed here sometimes gets up even above seven knots. So we're just passing over the shallowest bit of the entry into the channel, marked very kindly by these red and green boys. And now we're going to turn off to the right, even more downwind, and keep going up the channel. We've got 11 knots of wind at the moment, and we're doing between six and seven knots. As we're coming into harbour, this boat's going alongside us. We're still making five to six knots and we go about 10 knots of wind. And now we've arrived at Spikaruk Marina, or rather just outside it, we're anchored here. You can see here at the end of all of that we've got 23.61 volts left in the battery, which is very well charged. This also shows us how much power we've used. We've used 1,345.3 watt hours. It says just 345.3 there because it doesn't have a thousand, so it just cycles around again. So over seven hours, that's around about 200 watts per hour. And 200 watts per hour isn't very much at all. We could have kept going for days. I think that's one of the best solar cells I've ever done.